What I want to do today is connect our Woodpecker apps to GPT so that whenever a prospect is added to Woodpecker, a cold email will automatically be generated. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Woodpecker to trigger a prompt in OpenAI, I'll need to use Woodpecker as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click Prospect Saved as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Woodpecker sees a new prospect is added to our account, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Woodpecker, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Woodpecker account. The screen will ask you to connect your account with an API key. To access this key, go to your Woodpecker account and click on the Marketplace button near the top right of your screen. Select Integrations, click API Keys under the dropdown, and then select Create Key. Once you've done that, copy the key that is given to you and go back to your authorization screen and paste that key in. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in GPT into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier just like I did with my Woodpecker account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the drop down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields. Under Prompt, I'll type in a custom message with the parameters that I want my sales pitch to have. I'll type in sales cold email for, and then I'll click prospect first name and prospect last name under the dropdown. Then type in who works at, and then I'll click prospect company, and then type in and could be interested in Zapier. My name is John. Don't include the email subject. Start with dear, and then I'll click first name under the dropdown and click continue. Click test action, and we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button at the bottom of the screen to get started. OpenAI will answer our questions, but we want to make sure those messages are logged. Because of this, we'll need to use Woodpecker once more as our action. Type in Woodpecker into the search bar and then select Create slash Update Prospect and then click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, under Email, I'll click Prospect Email. And then under Snippet, I'll select Choices Text and I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a prospect is added to Woodpecker, a cold email will automatically be generated. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.